Okay, so the point of this video is to fall in line with another video that I've just uploaded as well, where I've done the exact same test with a Rode Video Micro. So quite specifically, what I'm doing is testing the E 4K Plus with the Sennheiser ME64, running through a cable which has been passively attenuated. So what I've done, I've modified one of the bog standard Yi audio cables for the 4K Plus and put a 10K resistor in line inside it. And then what that does, it, it allows a drop in like peak voltages and also a drop in the actual loudness of the signal coming back down the cable. So hopefully what it's doing is helping to stop the distortion that occurs inside the 4K Plus because it's very sensitive to like, you know, kind of like bumps in the audio as far as like any kind of like raising level, which then generates a slightly higher voltage. I'm going to say slightly higher voltage. These are all tiny, tiny voltages, but the voltages nonetheless, which all microphones will send down an audio cable or all analog systems as they transfer audio down the cable require a tiny bit of voltage to do that. Anyway, what I'm doing here is just seeing if the microphone is not distorting. And what I'm gonna do as well, I'm just gonna take the, uh, the camera off the tripod in a second and put it on a pistol grip. But the idea behind this video and the previous one that I've done is just to, you know, for other people to have a listen uh, because I've go, I've been getting all like twisted and going mental trying to get this thing to work with an external microphone and you wouldn't believe to what extents I've gone to to try and make that work. I've even tried the E 4K Plus with an external preamplifier system, like a proper studio one as well, just to act, you know, to treat it more as a, an attenuator. Obviously something that you can't bring outdoors, but I've tried all this nonetheless, and it really is very difficult to get any kind of signal into the 4K Plus without it distorting. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll just flip over onto a pistol grip and just do like a little bit of like a vlog scenario with it. Okay, so I've now put the Yi on a pistol grip. So the position that I've got it in at the moment is just very similar to like anyone who does handheld vlogging, except obviously I'm using a microphone on top of it as well. So what I'm gonna do here is just move about a little bit. And as with my previous test as well that I've done with the Rode Video Micro, I haven't got the stabilizer on on the camera, but it really doesn't matter because I'm not kind of like going crazy throwing the camera all over the place. So this will be fine anyway. But what it is, I, I, I'm not so bothered about the picture, to be honest. I mean, I actually love the picture of the E 4K+, Plus, especially when you get it in some like really good sunlight and whatnot. Um, but basically, these two tests that I've done are just to test to see if I can get something acceptable with an external microphone. Because another problem that I've got with the E as well, its internal mics are really bad, or at least my opinion is, is that they're really bad. So what I'm trying to do is to alleviate some of the issues that occur with the internal mics as well because the other problem with the internal microphones is although it records a stereo signal it's a very unbalanced signal so if you listen on headphones to, to like a e 4k plus recording with its internal microphone system you'll find that one side is like kind of louder than the other and stuff like that or it goes weird and wobbles a bit in the stereo field now the thing is their microphones are so close to one another that shouldn't even happen but it does so what I'm trying to do is find an external microphone solution that would at least allow me to get a good mono recording, which will stay dead center into the stereo field. Okay, so anyway, I've done enough talk with this. And just like with the other one that I've done with the road as well, you know, I wanted to keep these short. And these are not really so much things where like, you know, I'm gonna make like, a, you know, a big judgment on them. These are like more for other people to, hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'm just saying hello to a dog. Um, yeah, th th these videos are really more for other people to kind of like, you know, make comments on. And hopefully people who use the E 4K Plus themselves, who may already have, you know, maybe they've addressed the issue. Maybe you can let me know if they fix this issue or at least if they identify with it as well. Okay, so yeah, I'll cut this short. And what it is, if you have a look in the descriptions below, there'll be a link to a more extensive video to do, which showing all the problems with this issue that I'm talking about. And also there'll be a link in the description and at the end of this video to go and see the one that I've done with the Rode Video Micro because that may be of interest to people as well. Okay, so the last thing I need to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.